Hello and welcome to Study IQ, my dear friends. I am Prashant Mavani. I hope you all are doing good. Today is 26th March 2020. On our table, we have a very interesting and a relevant quote. You must do the things you think you cannot do. Now, I think there are so many people out there. They are not sure how they are going to spend their time indoors, right? Uh, some of them are already, you know, they are they are already bored. and uh, there are you know this is this is something that we have never done but we have to do it we have to stay indoors because at present our condition is exactly that you can see on your screen we are on our knees and this is not just about our country the whole globe uh, you know is on its knee because of this a coronavirus so i would like to share some tips uh, scientific things uh, that will help you a lot if you give it a go Right so the thing is you have to make a list now it is very important that you write it down on a piece of paper right i don't want you to write on a computer or your mobile phone i want you guys to take a pencil or paper uh, pencil or pen or pencil uh, take a paper and make sure that you note it down uh, all the things uh, that uh, you are going to do today and this will keep you you know this will keep your energy in one line it will it will it's just like using a magnifying glass when the sun rays are you know scattered they have no energy but when you use a magnifying glass then you can concentrate that energy you can create a fire as well using that magnifying glass using that pinpoint concentration so making a list a physical list uh, helps us because uh, you know you are writing you are physically touching the paper you are touching that pen um so that is your physical connection you are looking at it consciously subconsciously you're smelling a paper as well you know smell smell of the ink if we if we concentrate on it then we can smell that thing as well but for that you need a lot of practice and things but anyway basically what i'm trying to say is that your mind your body you know everything will come to a point when you write things when you make a list so the things that you need to have on your list uh, this is purely my suggestions you can have your own list but i will recommend you guys uh, to read a book and make sure you give numbers as well so uh, if i were you then i would start with uh, a bit of exercise right L- workout indoor workout there are so many things that you can do uh, you can check out youtube and you will see prison workouts and there are so many exercises uh, that you will find that you can do easy exercises that you can do 10 minutes max right then you can meditate for 2 minutes 3 minutes it's just like breathing that's it don't be too technical about it just breathing so 15 minutes you'll be done with this two tasks then you can take a shower and things and then you can take a book right read a book read a motivational book read something that will help you self help book there are so many books out there and if you want a list then i'll share a list as well i'll i'll, I'll share the list on my telegram channel so you can you can if you can find those books then make sure you read those books in this 21 days Uh, then uh, you can uh, help your family members or let's say you can clean or organize your room or your house you can clean all those corners generally we, there are you will find so many spots in your house in your uh, cupboard that you can clean because you have this extra time so if you organize things around you this will help you a lot and this will give you a sense of satisfaction so these are four things that uh you can do then you can have your own list right so give it a go i want every one of you to give it a go and once you get a little bit of result from this thing make sure you pass it to someone else as well do tell them about uh, this thing right uh, this uh, list making thing this is a very scientific thing and the reason why i'm sharing this thing is not just for 21 days right uh, it will help you i'm sure many of you have not tried it so it will help you with your preparation as well so it's a very scientific tip now i have a question for you in fact two questions Now we generally call it coronavirus but I want a specific clinical name for this virus so this is your question number 1 question number 2 is give me uh, this cl- uh, clinical illness nomenclature or the name of this uh, illness right that causes that happen means this coronavirus because of this coronavirus you get this illness so what is the n- clinical name of this illness Dear friends, uh, we have pen drive and tablet courses that are available for various different competitive exams. To find out more about it, do check out studyiq.com. If you have any question, queries, doubts, you can give us a call on the numbers that you can see on your screen. 
You'll be able to download the PDF of today's lecture from my Telegram channel. If you want to get in touch with me, then uh, you can send me messages on FB. Make sure you share this lecture with other students. Hit the like button if you have learned something from today's discussion. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So on our table, we have three important articles. As you can see here, this editorial, a long road. It's a very lengthy editorial. There are a few important points here. We are going to analyze it in detail. Then the second one is about our economy, addressing a wounded economy. Very important one. Again, it's about coronavirus impact, this lockdown and its impact on economy. What are the things that we need to do? Third one is going to be test, test, test for the virus a very important article so these are the three articles that i'm going to uh, discuss with you guys then we have uh, uh, so many important news items that we are going to analyze it analyze all of them in detail then uh, we have this three articles here this one uh, COVID-19 and the great Chinese puzzle. If you go through this article, then it starts with the history of this coronavirus history in the sense of what happened in November in China or in, 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 the, uh, in the last portion of 2019. And uh, then it started spreading in, in you know, Far East uh, Asian countries like uh, Taiwan and uh, South Korea and other countries. Steps taken by... Taiwan and other countries. So it's basically about, uh, you know, the whole story of this coronavirus, uh, and, um, general information. So if you have extra time, go through it or else you can skip it. Uh, this one is about, uh, it's, some, it's similar to what we have discussed already yesterday. Remember, I gave you this example of uh, we have different states and or let's imagine that these are various different districts. Uh, some of them are affected by coronavirus or so what we need to do and things like that. So it's about that. And this one, beware of lopsided lockdown. So this article is talking about how this lockdown will impact uh, poor people. But this points about poor people are already covered in this editorial and this article. So we are going to stick with this too. So let's crack on now, dear friends, a long road, right? India's unprecedented, unprecedented word is very important here because 21 days lockdown, national lockdown, this is this has never happened uh, in the history of our country. And this is a very important step. Uh, we have to break this chain of coronavirus and the positive, the good thing about this lockdown is the good thing. I'm saying, yes, I'm using the word good thing here is because this medical uh, personnel or medical community has welcomed this lockdown, this national lockdown. So if medical community is saying, if they are saying that, yes, lockdown is a good move, then indeed it is a good move. And as we have discussed yesterday, I would like to repeat again here that the main aim here is to flatten the curve of transmission. The curve is gradually going, you know, up. We want to stop it there. We want to flatten it and then we want to take it. We want to, we want to see this, a, a big decline in this, in this curve. And uh, uh, this should be our uh, first priority as well as uh, our, our main goal. Of course, it is going to create, and in fact, it has created disruption. Uh, millions of uh, people were unprepared about it but you cannot give time to people and the reason i'm saying cannot is because then you know you have to keep on extending deadlines that we were not having that much time three four hours were there when eight at 8 p.m prime minister modi was live and he said that these are the things uh, you know that we have to do 21 days lockdown so there were like three four hours uh, after this uh, uh, declaration by prime minister modi but we should stay where we are, right? There are so many people out there, and I'm not just talking about India. I'm talking about, like, developed countries. I have some of my relatives living in UK. I know the situation of UK is very, very bad, right? Very bad. They are not able to find food. Food is not available. There are other important items that are not available in, in those developed countries. So can you imagine if... If we have that many cases in our country, then what will happen? We have uh, poor people living here. We are, have a very dense, uh, densely populated uh, country and our cities are densely populated as well. So it is very important that we, uh, you know, we, we, we fulfill our responsibility. And uh, this should give uh, the government a sufficient time. This 21 days time should be used by government very wisely. What we are going to do about economy, how we are going to fix our economy, how we can help poor people, how we can uh, enhance or boost our uh, medical facilities, right? Uh, most important thing is testing. We need to test so many people out there. Uh, there are, 
you know, scientific or experts, they are saying that we need to test millions of people of this coronavirus. They, they, there is also a threat or they are also saying that, uh, uh, you know, we'll be having more cases, but at present we don't have that many uh, test kits and there are so many people they have escaped this uh, testing uh, of this coronavirus. So uh, the numbers can go up and we don't know how long this is going to last. So we have to test them and we have one particular dedicated article about testing. So we are going to talk about more about this test thing as we move to that the third article of the day. L like, right. Uh, other things. War room approach. Providing food to people. I think now people are, uh, generally speaking, people know this thing that they will get food. I can see uh, hawkers, this vegetable hawkers, they are taking the trolley and they are supplying vegetables in various different streets, isn't it? So people know this thing that medicines will be available, other water, food, electricity, all these things uh, will be provided and it will be available. So I think now we need to, to you know, now we need to um, uh, create slots. Uh, we have to have slots. Like if you want to buy food items, then you should get it in the morning time. Uh, medicines and other things, right? For, of course, for medicines, you have to allow 24 hours. But food items and other things, we have to fix slots, um, area-wise slots, right? So these are the things. Th this can be done at grassroots level. And this is very important as well that we do this thing. And it is important, as I told you, the reason I'm emphasizing this thing is because I'm afraid about this behavioral thing. That if people will, uh, you know, keep coming, if, if they will, uh, you know, stay outdoors or if they will find excuses to loiter outside in the streets, then this is uh, not going to help us. It is very important. Now, some states have moved early and they have announced cash relief and uh, free rations. That's a good thing. Uh, allowing delivery of medicines by pharmacies is important and essential personnel must be given passes that uh, protect them from police harassment. I'm, I, I, I will not use the word harassment here, right? Uh, even police personnel, they are standing outside, they are outdoors and, uh, you know, they are, they are helping all of us. Uh, so harassment is not the right word. I would say uh, we should have some sort of passes like if we have a news item that Delhi is going to issue e-passes that you can use in your phone and you can show it to police personnel if they if if you have to produce it you know that you are allowed and it's not for general public it's for those people who are associated with uh, this sort of uh, work like essential commodities and other things uh, deplorable trend of social discrimination against health workers handling covid cases this is a very sad thing we have few incidents and even Prime Minister Modi has talked about this thing in yesterday's speech. He said that uh, he felt he is feeling pain because of this thing that people are, you know, they are booing all those people who are, who are health workers, nurses, doctors. These are the people who are helping us. They are not spreading disease. They are controlling the disease. So we have to understand this thing. And the hardest hit are, of course, the millions of daily wage earners, the self-employed and small businesses and the rural landless poor. How we are going to help them, how we can help them, all these things are covered in the next article. Uh, Finance Minister on Tuesday announced a welcome slew of tax and regulatory compliances. As you know, that uh, ATM charges are dropped. Uh, your IT, that is income tax filing, uh, GST filing, everything is delayed now. And uh, there are exemptions like you will not be charged for online transactions and uh, redu uh, reduction in some charges and things. So uh, 15,000 rupees, 15,000 crore rupees, I beg your pardon, 15,000 crore rupees uh, is released for uh, medical supplies uh, so that we can buy this kit and other things for our uh, medical personnel. And uh, that's basically everything, right? Uh, as far as poor people are concerned, that we have the, their Jandan accounts, we have their uh, BPL ration cards, we have uh, uh, PM uh, Kisan data as well, so we can transfer some money to them. But we are going to talk more about it in this article, Dressing a Wounded Economy. Now, this article is written by C. Rangarajan, former chairman of the Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister and former Governor Reserve Bank of India. Impact of coronavirus pandemic is now felt by almost every country on this globe. 175 countries, right? Uh, they are directly, indirectly affected by, directly affected by this coronavirus. And I think uh, more and more countries are going on this lockdown mode. 
two things right to two areas health effects already visible in countries like italy in china in usa uk germany france and other countries and then we have uh, this uh, health e- effects right and it's gradually going up in our country as well and then you will have this economic e- impact economic impact of let's say 21 days uh, lockdown and uh, not just our lockdown we are also connected with the world isn't it uh, import and export so there are four things external demand de- domestic demand supply disruptions and financial market disturbances we are going to go through it and we are going to analyze all these four points let's start with external demand external demand basically means uh, exports india's exports now imagine the situation of italy let's say i'm just giving you rough idea let's say we are supplying um, 50 crore worth of items per year to italy 50 crore is not a small amount or let's say 100 crore right now do you think italy is going to buy all those items from us in in future right in near future or maybe after 5 months or 6 months if if those items are luxurious item no people are going to cut down their expenses people are not going to people will spend money on food uh, health uh, all those important things only right uh, this luxurious budget is going to be nil most of the people around the world they will not spend unnecessary money so this will impact the production of so many items so our exports will go down because economies of this developed countries are going to slow down or and not just to slow down a recession is also possible a severe recession so demand for our items items that we supply to all these countries is going to drop down indian exports were already down for if you go back and look uh, uh, six months period then you will find that there was a negative growth in this exports only in january 2020 we saw some sort of positive growth and i'm not just talking about products i'm not just talking about those things that we make in our factory i'm talking about services as well your it services travel uh, transport hotel industries all these things like you will you will not find italian tourists now in not just our country in other countries same thing happens with other japanese tourists and other tourists uh, they are going to stay indoor they are going to stay uh you know uh, lim- limited to their districts because people will means it will take time for people to get that confidence to travel easily and there will be other you know security layers and uh, early on it it was just about like you are not getting weapons and things but now it will be about diseases as well so it's going to take more time and more expense and things so external demand and then there are there are going to be like domestic demand if we talk before we talk about domestic demand there are a few things uh, that will be in our favor that oil price will come down oil import bill will come down substantially so that is a positive for our country but it's not all positive there are some negatives as well we purchase oil from gulf countries now in gulf countries we have our indian laborers working there blue collar job they are doing blue collar job over there and there most of the people they are doing labor work over there so the demand of their labor work will drop down as well that means less people will get job opportunities over there so more people will come back from there to our country less remittance for our country i'm sure you know the ver- meaning of remittance remittance basically means that whatever money that you are saving there or nris when they are working outside india the money that they save a chunk of that saving that they send back home that's what remittance is all about so we'll get less remittance and remittance is important for our country because we get nearly twice means the, the amount that we get as fdi in our country foreign direct investment remittance is nearly twice 78 80 billion dollar per year is not a small amount we are the highest remittance receiving country in the world so oil import bill will go down that will help us but at the same time it will create you know bad situation for our indian laborers Uh, we are connected with this supply chain global supply chains and uh, uh, you know 60% of our imports are intermediate goods that means uh, they are not finished goods uh, they are finished goods for the country that are sending us but for us they are a very important raw material so we do a bit of processing on those in- intermediate goods 
we assemble few things we pack them and then we sell it to uh, some other countries or for uh, we sell it in our domestic market so global supply chain disturbances are going to create problems for our supply chain or we are part of this sub big supply chain so we are also going to feel the pain of this uh, disruption so so many factories uh, they may lock down and this will impact those poor people as far as financial markets are con uh, concerned entire reaction is based on fear i have said early on as well that financial markets you have this very important thing called sentiments and at present sentiments are very negative the two major tools that are available are monetary policy and fiscal action these are the two tools uh, that uh, authorities they are having these two tools in their hands monetary policy it's all about money the name the name monetary the word monetary is associated with this term money right so that's why we say monetary policy so it's about uh, providing liquidity making sure that cash is available liquidity is available and credit is available already you know that 135 basis point uh, was uh, chopped uh, by this rbi in last uh, roughly one year uh, and this has not means we we have talked about this thing earlier on as well like slow down we were going through this slow down phase uh, because of this trade war and some other things and then we have this coronavirus thing so there is a scope of course of further reduction but there comes a point where you means if you, if you keep it zero as well that's not going to help you know after a limit your reduction or your uh, rate reduction is not going to help unless the whole environment the whole economy is is if the whole economy is feeling down then your rate reduction will not help as far as financial markets are concerned right wealthy people they have lost huge amount of money so whatever money they have now they are going to hold it very tightly and if they are going to hold it very tightly that means they will not invest this money will not flow it will not come in circulation and this will if you, big picture is that uh, you know wealth generation will come to a chokehold or it will slow down so less jobs and less business opportunities and less opportunities to create more wealth uh, repayments to banks can be delayed and the authorities must be must be willing to relax the rules uh, right uh, non performing assets how it works is 90 days time you have 90 days if uh, in 90 days if you have given a loan to someone and uh, in 90 days if you don't get any interest or any money back from any installments or anything then that is uh, declared as npa that non performing asset but we have to change a uh, little bit of definition we have to give extend the de deadline 90 days can be extended to 180 days so if banks will uh, the money incoming money if that is delayed then outgoing money will be delayed as well isn't it so it's a very tricky situation as far as monetary is concerned now if we talk about fiscal actions fiscal is financial action that government can take so government can uh, pump money uh, into economy government can give some extensions like yesterday government has uh, declared some you know we were talking about this nirmala sitharaman ji is uh, not yesterday but day before yesterday this was declared and yesterday we were talking about this uh, some some sort of uh, uh, relaxation that uh, finance ministry has uh, declared uh, we are going to see more uh, this sort of relaxation we were talking about this thing that we need somewhere around 5 lakh to 6 lakh crore rupees uh, to support to handheld our economy and uh, hospitals uh, 4500 per test this is the cost of coronavirus test so we have to cover it under ayushman bharat uh, this uh, this particular test is, uh, expenses giving money many states they have started giving money as well cash transfers a per capita cash transfer is important we have to do it but the quantum as well as the length of the period we don't know right how long we have to provide how long we have to carry on this lockdown we don't know yet so we have to prepare ourselves uh, for a long race for a marathon Moving on to test, test, test for the virus. Coronavirus RNA is new to the human immunological uh, system. Therefore, there are a lot of unanswered questions with regard to immunity, recurrence, uh, carrier state, treatment, vaccines, etc. And uh, we know that our country is a lower middle income country. We spend 1.5% of our GDP after health expenditure. We don't have that many good things uh, that uh, if we compare ourselves with... Yesterday, we were comparing ourselves with uh, China, with Italy. 
Uh, right. So if you're new to this lecture, then I will recommend you guys to check out yesterday's lecture as well. PDF is also available on my Telegram channel. So do check out the facts about uh, doctors available, nurses available, uh, beds available and all these things. So we are a lower middle income country and the best thing that we can do is to carry on this lockdown or to support this lockdown. Right? This is the best thing that we can do. This is the least expensive thing that we can do. Of course, it's painful. For many people, for me, I, I don't think so. It's painful because I can I can handle it, right? There are so many things. I have made my list, so I'm busy. But the thing is we have to, every one of us has to understand this thing. And of course, it's not a holiday. You know, we have to use our time very wisely. And uh, setting, uh, setting up a diagnostic center in every district uh, general hospital should be the topmost priority. The good news is that uh, one private player's test kit is approved. Uh, by the center, by this uh, Pune Virology Center. So that is going to help. Now we will see mass production. And we what we need to do is mass production. After mass production of that test kit, we need to distribute it in, in various different parts of our country so that we have enough of these uh, test kits. Uh, travel bans, uh, qu uh, quarantines are imperative measures, but testing alone can reveal the extent of the disease in the community. And we can learn so many things from South Korea. See, South Korea is taking 6,388 tests per million population. India, if we compare it, we are taking just 11.6. So a huge difference. 11.6 and 6,388 tests. And I'm sure... The more tests that we'll conduct, we will find more people who are affected by this disease. And it's very important to identify them. If we don't identify a problem, then how we can solve it? Simple as that. Now, let's move on to important news items. There are so many. First one is about the Prime Minister's address to the nation. He said that the main aim is to win the war against COVID-19 in 21 days. He talked about this Mahabharata war. Uh, he said that it took 18 days uh, to, to win this Mahabharat war and uh, for the Pandavas, of course, and for our country. We would need this 21 days. They are very important. Prime Minister urged the citizens uh, to support healthcare professionals and others who are working through the lockdown. As the total count of uh, COVID-19 cases in India touched 606 on Wednesday, the center said that uh, center said there, will, there was still no proof of community transmission. Uh, Modi pained by harassment of doctors and uh, this is the thing that I was talking about, right? Uh, he said that uh, nurses and doctors uh, that you see, uh, you know, in your streets or if you see, if you spot them, then they are a form of God, right? They are doing a very important service for humanity. They are taking risks and there are a few stupid people out there. They are, they are blaming them. They are, they are saying that these people are spreading disease. This is... This is not acceptable at all, right? Uh, we cannot ill-treat those people who are who are fighting coronavirus, right? They are there out there, you know. So please, all those people, we need to respect them. Prime Minister also talked about this Navratri, and he said that uh, for next 21 days, to the actual celebration of Navratri will be looking after those nine families. If you are capable enough then you should look after nine families or nine people, let's say, right? Uh, this is my personal appeal as well. Whatever you can do, if you can share some rice, some food, maybe some money, if you can do whatever you can, right? A little bit of your help will matter as well. So please make sure you take a stand because there are so many people, they are directly, indirectly helping all of us, isn't it? Internet service providers, they are risking things and they are going to their offices and making sure that we can, uh, you know, record these lectures, do research and, you know, watch it. So there are so many people, the electricians or those people working in this electrical power supplying companies. So they are working there. So we have to take a stand and we have to help some people. This is very important. E-passes for key services. This was declared by Kejriwal. And uh, Arvind Kejriwal, of course, Chief Minister of uh, Delhi, and he has given this 1031 number. So it's not for general public, it's for those people who are associated with this essential goods or services. Uh, delivery issues add, add to woos for homebound uh, things like e-commerce firms. They faced uh, some, uh, they, 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 for, they were forced to suspend some deliveries because 
you know many people they they are just ordering things uh, you know this is not going to help we have if there is absolute necessity for if you genuinely need food right not for your taste but for your survival then only order food right or else you should not order things online particularly in this lockdown period uh, 25 worshippers killed in is attack on kabul this is a very sad news coming from um kabul afghanistan uh, 25 uh, worshippers were killed in this gurudwara uh, that is there in kabul and more than 200 people were taken hostage and is has claimed uh, responsibility pakistan is involved in it has been said by ministry of external affairs taliban has said that it is not involved in this thing is has claimed responsibility as you can see on your screen this infographic uh, usa saudi arabia germany european union they are going to inject money in their economy they are ready to help uh, to protect their economy as you can see here this is a cabinet meeting everyone is keeping a distance uh, from each other uh, home minister prime minister finance minister they are working from home they are working from their offices right limited staff um, the things that you can do over the phone um, or the things they can do over the phone they are doing it over the phone uh, physical contact is uh, minimum Uh, finance ministry writes to rbi for relaxing farm loan npa norms uh, as i have already told you that 90 days limit so it should be extended and uh, union cabinet approves recapitalization of a regional rural bank 1340 crore ca- recapitalization is approved so this money will go to rural area because 75% of this total credit of rrbs are for uh, agricultural credit small and marginal farmers micro entrepreneurs and rural artisans so giving money to rrbs is basically supplying money to uh, rural india and that's everything in uh, today's uh, discussion dear friends uh, thank you very much for watching this video god bless you all jai hind